another video this video is honestly so long overdue and i'm very sorry nevertheless you get in the video now so that's important <laughs> so today i'm gonna be sharing with you guys my custard recipe listen on this channel you know i'm not a food channel i'm not a cooking channel i just love to cook love to eat i love food i love you know trying new dishes all of that so if you're coming on this channel for you know an exact recipe just had to burst your bubble a little bit because your girl don't measure unless I am following a recipe <laughs> that's the only way I measure but other than that I follow recipes you know detail detail and when I feel like you know I master the recipe then I do my own thing and which you should like you should make a recipe yours is always good to get inspiration from others and give credit where credit is due but it's also good to you know make it your own add whatever you like add a little twist to it add your touches to it in today's video i'm actually going to be making custard custard pie egg custard whatever you guys want to call it flan my mom gave me her recipe along with one of my subscribers dervani had sent me her recipe and i also looked at uh, I also look at Trini cooking with Natasha. So as I said, you know, you, you get inspiration from other people, you follow other people's recipe, but you add your own little twist to it. You're looking for measurements and all of that came to the wrong channel. However, I would link Trini cooking with Natasha video down below. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, you know, for detailed measurements and whatever, you can do that. I made custard like three or four times after my video that I post up with it and I do two things different so the first time I made it I add a little piece of lime peel that my mom had told me you know incorporated just to cut out the freshness from the eggs and whatever did that work perfect second time I did it I didn't do the lime I created a shitload of ginger like so much ginger and I know what you're thinking, it's probably overpowering, but no. So much ginger I added to it actually made it taste really, really, really better. And I grated a lot of nutmeg. So grated ginger and grated nutmeg really helps to cut the freshness of the eggs. Another thing is that I didn't do, that I saw a lot of recipe does, they usually put it in like a bath. So meaning you pour your custard mixture in here and then they put this into a another dish that is like, you know, halfway through with water. So it's like a steam bath kind of thing. I don't do that and my custard comes out pretty good. Another thing that I use, I used lactose milk the last time and it worked perfect. So guess what? I'm gonna use it this time. Let me just show you guys what I have going on here and let's start making custard. Right. So I have a bowl that I'll be mixing the mixture. You're gonna need a bowl. I use this, um, a hand mixer, to mix everything because I just pour everything in here and I find it works better. However, you can use a blender, but this is like, you know, easier for me, I find. What you're also gonna need is a strainer because when you add your ginger and stuff, you need to strain it to your buttered dish, right? So you're gonna need either a hand mixer and a bowl or a blender and just blend everything. You're gonna need a lot of ginger. However, this is a lot of ginger here, but I don't think I'll be using all of that ginger. So vanilla essence. I am using lactose-free milk. You could use full cream, um, stay fresh, whole milk, whatever, whatever you choose. I show you can either make it with almond milk. I show that what tastes good, or oat milk, or even coconut milk. Oh my god definitely have to try the coconut milk one but yeah i'm using lactose free milk i usually use one of these whole butterfly milk but i'm only using four eggs when i do five eggs i use a whole one so hopefully i might use like three quarter because i'm just doing four eggs and i usually do half can of condensed milk depending on how sweet you want a half can is pretty good for me it's not too too sweet but it's sweet enough if you like a really sweet custard then you could do a whole can or even three quarter for me i find that's too much so i just do half can and i have half <laughs> can here exactly half can that i had made the last time and i just kept it in this so i'll be using all of this here um, for eggs, I am going to use four eggs. 
get that four eggs i am gonna be using four eggs <laughs> this is the first time i'll be using four i usually use five i don't know why i'm using four and not five because i have eggs but you know it's a learning process i don't want to make too much i just want to make enough for these two threes so yeah which brings me to this you're gonna need two threes of choice and butter your trays so you know the custard doesn't stick i don't know how much i'll get to fill these but these are the size that i'm using the thing you're gonna need is lots of nutmeg so i have nutmeg and my spice grater here and that's basically it so that's the spread here and that's it so guys let me put you guys up and we'll see okay, so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna crack my eggs in here in my bowl and then i'm going to just add everything and just blend basically that's it. it's so simple so easy so let's do that whisk it for like about 10 minutes or 5 minutes depending on how I feel <laughs> so after it whisk what you're gonna do is just strain it into your dishes so yeah and I also preheat my oven to 350 so it's preheating right now so by the time I'm done with this um, it'll be ready to go in the oven <laughs> to cool and i'll do a little taste that's in a little bit but guys look at it look at it oh my goodness guys, so good moment of truth time to cut into this oh <laughs> all right let me get a spoon My neighbors play music, so hopefully all you don't hear that and hopefully this video doesn't get copyrighted. But this is what it looks like. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mmm. Guys. I legit can't stop eating. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. No lie. It's tasting real good. I devour that in less than a minute. Oh my goodness. This is so good. So good. Guys, please try this recipe. Please try it now. If you like custard, that is so delicious. Super delicious. Oh. Oh my god, I love it. So guys, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed.